Hello folks, this is Ted White, and in today's CabCut PC tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this stunning perspective text reveal effect. Now this is a pro feature, so you will need a subscription to CabCut Pro in order to pull this off. Let's check it out. All right, folks, so the first thing we're going to do today is import the file in which we'll be doing the editing with. So I'm just gonna go to import here and click on it, and then I'm going to click on this file and click open. From there, I'm gonna click on this clip, hold the click and drag and drop it down to the timeline. And then from there, I'm just going to play it and you will see that I'm just walking on the sidewalk, okay? And the camera is angled, which is ideal for the perspective text reveal effect that we're trying to get today. So I am just going to click on the playhead and hold the click and drag it back to the beginning. And then I'm gonna go up here to the text tab and click on that. From there, I'm gonna click on default text and hold the click, drag and drop that to the timeline. Okay, and I will just move it over so that it starts at the same time as the video clip. And then I'm gonna click at the end here of the text tab at the edge and hold the click and drag this over until I see the blue vertical line, which means it's the same length as the video clip, and that's what I want. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the text tab, and under text, there's basic and default text. I'm gonna highlight default text and backspace and delete it. And then I'm gonna put in an all uppercase perspective. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is go down to font. It says system. I'm actually going to click on this one, which is Poets in One. You're probably not gonna have this. I downloaded this from Da Font and imported it into CapCut PC. I have a video tutorial showing you how to do this. I'll leave a link up on the video screen for a short period of time here. And then what I'm going to do is scroll down a little bit on the text side here and then go to pattern and just hit bold. And then I am going to scroll down a little more and just underneath color there's character. And what character does is right now it's at zero so there's no spacing in between, there's not much spacing, no extra spacing in between the letters here. Um, so I'm just gonna create a little more spacing in between the letters, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is scroll down here. So I change that to one just so you know it from zero to one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna look for shadow and I'm gonna click on shadow, okay? And then that's gonna give, it's gonna make the text and the letters pop out a little bit more. And underneath shadow, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and I'm gonna go to distance. And I'm going to highlight the five and I'm gonna put in seven and then enter, okay? And that's just gonna help the text pop out a little bit more, all right? So then what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on the corner here where there's a ball, okay? Um, you can click any one of these four balls. So I'm gonna click on it, hold the click, and drag it so that it's bigger, okay? So I'm gonna make it pretty big, like maybe this big or so. And then I'm gonna leave it at that size. And then the next step is I'm actually gonna go down here to the text box, and I'm going to right click on the text box and select Create Compound Clip, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the text tab over to the effects tab. And I'm gonna click on the effects tab and then here, search for effects. I'm gonna click in that box and I'm gonna type in player three. So P-L-A-Y-E-R space three, enter, okay? And this is gonna bring up a pro feature here. So I'm gonna click on this effect hold the click, drag and drop it right into the middle of my compound clip, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll ahead a little bit and then it's gonna give me this perspective and a music player. Now, over here we have details for this particular effect and we can make some adjustments. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the glow 
okay and I'm gonna get rid of the music player so in order to get rid of the glow you just go down here under details to glow you click on this and bring it all the way so you click on this hold the click drag it all the way to the left and then the glow disappears okay and then as for the music player we will scroll down a little bit on details and go to texture and with texture we just click on this hold the click drag it all the way to the left and the music player is gone thankfully all right so the next thing we do is go up here to rotate okay and with the rotate i'm actually going to rotate so i'm going to click on this and rotate it all the way to a hundred percent all right so then now the text is in perspective that's excellent so i'm going to click off this box and then I'm going to move the playhead to like maybe right about here or something where I want the text to appear at some point. And I'm just going to adjust the text a little bit. So I'm going to click on the compound clip, which is actually just text. So it, the video, everything else in the video is here and it's just the text that's in the compound clip. So we can make some adjustments with the text. We can move it up. So just click on it, hold the click and move up. Um, uh, we can rotate it a little bit. So if we want to rotate it, we can hit the rotate icon here and just click on it, hold the click and drag it up or down depending on what you want to do. Okay. So I'll change it a bit. I'll change it to something like that. And this right here looks pretty good. I think I'm just going to make it bigger. Uh, so how I can make it bigger is simply just clicking on this ball here at the corner and holding the click and then dragging it just the same way we made the text bigger a little earlier on there. So what I'm going to do is I will possibly just change the angle a little bit here. Just make it kind of like that. And I'm going to bring it so that maybe it's over here. Okay. A little bit. There we go. And then what we will do here is I'm going to drag the playhead back to the start. Okay. So the text is where I want to be right here for the majority of the video. And, um, I am just going to move to the next step where we will take the playhead to the beginning. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom, the video clip, I'm going to right click it, and then I'm going to create copy. Okay. And then I'm going to go above the compound clip and I'm going to right click that and click paste. Now the pasted video clip automatically goes below the compound clip for some reason. So, uh, it is highlighted. So the brand, the pasted one is highlighted. So that's the new clip. And what I'm going to do is click on it, hold the click and drag it above the compound clip and release. Okay. So now it's above the compound clip. This one's highlighted. That's what we want. So we want the top clip highlighted and then we go video and then we go over to mask. Okay. And then we go add mask. All right. And then we click split. Okay. And then what we'll do is I'm going to move the playhead forward a bit. So I'm going to come back to the timeline here and I'm going to move the playhead forward so I can see the text and the text is where I want it to be. So I'm going to go like this. So what we do to rotate this is you click on the rotate button and you hold the click and drag it. Okay. And I'm going to drag it to 90 degrees, which is the standard here. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the line that you see here, and then I'm going to drag that left. All right. And this is where roughly I want all this to start. So. What I'm going to do is I am going to move the playhead forward a little bit so that I'm just right about just right after it's going to start. Maybe leave a little bit of room because I'm going to use some feather for this. So then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to mask and I'm going to add a keyframe. Okay. And then when I added a keyframe here, it's automatically going to add a keyframe on the timeline. Now, every time we move the mass forward, so we'll click on the mass, hold the click, drag it forward, and then release it. Every time it moves 
a, to a different position, it will automatically add a new keyframe because we added an initial keyframe which signaled the start of a change. So that's what happens when you do keyframes. Just adds more when you move to a different position that was different from the original. So I'm also gonna go to feather here and I am just going to bring a feather out a bit here. So there we go, maybe, maybe this far or so. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm going to move the playhead forward a little bit and then move the mass forward, okay? To right about here. I'll leave a little bit of space between me and the text. And then we move the playhead forward. So you click on the playhead, hold the click, and move it a little forward. And then you click on this line, hold the click, and move that forward. Okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing. Playhead forward, and then mass forward. So you just Repeat this process. Playhead forward. Mass forward. Just leaving some air between my body and the text. So, playhead forward, click on the playhead, hold the click, and then release. Mass forward. So, click on the line, hold it, and then release and then it adds keyframe okay so that's that's what happens playhead forward mask forward okay so we'll just continue this process until we're done until we got the whole word spelled out All right, so play head forward and mass forward. And that should do it. Okay, so then what I do is I click off of it and then I'm gonna take the play head and move it to the beginning and we'll see the final product here and I really hope it turned out okay. Um, Let's take a look. So I'm gonna put it full screen. It might be a bit choppy, but after I export it and then put it into my intro, the intro one should be smoother than this. Um, so I'm gonna play this and let's check it out, see what it looks like. And that's pretty good. So folks, that is how you create a perspective text reveal effect here in CapCut PC. I hope this tutorial helps you out. I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.